Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'll be showing you today another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. And the file that we'll be uh, showing today is uh, related to the merger and acquisition reading, which appears in level 2 under the corporate finance section. And it's one of the most important readings in that book. Uh, the file is related to how to value, um, uh, basically related to valuing mergers and acquisitions. And it uses the method of comparable company analysis. If you would like to know more about this method in detail and to see proper examples about it, you have to go to check the reading that's uh, on the website about merger and acquisition. But for now, I'll just show you a quick overview of how this method works in order to be able to use the Excel sheet. So, in uh, a comparable company analysis method, the analyst first defines a set of other companies that are similar to the target under view, and then, uh, so basically he tries to find companies that operate in the same industry and does uh, the same kind of operations in a way or another to the company that the acquirer is planning to acquire. And then, based on his identification of the different companies, he uh, will calculate various relative values measures based on the current market prices. Uh, so basically, to calculate some multiples, like price earnings, price to sales, uh, book value per share. After finding the mean and median of these multiples, he will apply it to the target company and uh, will try to find a suitable stock price for the target company. However, since we are trying to deal now with the case in which we are uh, acquiring another company, usually the takeover price differs from the price, uh, the pre-merger or the pre-acquisition price. So we so far we have determined the first one, we have determined the pre-merger uh, or pre-acquisition price, but now we would like to find the acquisition value in order to do so, the analyst must determine the takeover premium, which is the amount by which the takeover for each share must exceed the current stock price in order to compensate the stockholders to relinquish control of the company to an acquirer. And in order to do so, the uh, analyst must determine target companies uh, or recent takeover transactions, and from them he would determine the takeover premium to be the difference between the deal price and the stock price before the acquisition divided by the stock price before acquisition. In order to look at an example of how this applies, we'll assume that ABC company is trying to analyze the fair value of XYZ in order to determine acquisition price. XYZ has a certain EPS and book value per share of 2.5 and 7 respectively. Using the comparable company analysis, ABC has determined two comparable companies and the following valuation variables. So we have company 1 and company 2, their current stock price, their EPS and book value per share. So basically we're using two multiples over here, the price to e earnings and the price to book value. And then the following transactions recent takeovers. First of all, let's focus on the first actually in this side and then we'll move on to the uh, recent takeover transactions. So we'll go to the file over here, as usual, enable the content for order to be able to see the part for the file to work properly. Go, uh, as you can see from here, we have uh, the file that has been designed to, to analyze up to five companies, comparable companies, up to five valuation multiples. You can either use the mean or median in your analysis, and then um, the takeover transactions, you can have up to ten companies. So here we go. Number of comparable companies in this case is 2. Number of valuation variables is 2 as well. The mean or median is estimating stock price. You will see over here that we mentioned that we you have to use the mean for both multiples and takeover premium. So we are going to use the mean. And number of takeover transactions, I'll leave it empty for now till we... Yeah. So uh, you can see from here uh, the valuation variable name so, in this case, the first one is EPS for one of the one of the values, one of the variables, and the other one is book value per share. And now we see the target comp value for the company is 2.5 for the target, and 7. For the comparable companies, as you can see, they appear over here, company A, 1, company 2, and etc. The stock price is 20, 15, and we have 2, 1.67, 8, and 5. Sorry, 5. 
So that's pretty much it for the comparable campaign information and we have already used the mean. So you can see over here already what we have uh, as the mean multiplied by the target values. So the mean for the EPS and uh, multiplied by the target company values gives us the, st the stock price. And if we take the mean of both numbers over here, we have 21.49, which is the estimated stock price without the risk premium. Right now, what we'll have to do is to enter the takeover transactions. So we have the following transactions, set of transactions, recent takeovers, the stock price before takeover, the stock price after takeover, and we'll go over here and we'll select number of takeover transactions to be 3. And then, the pre-takeover price is 20. 25, 15, 20, 30, 36, and we have the estimated takeover premium to be 26.11 with a final estimated stock price of 27.1. So this is actually the deal price that we're trying to find based on comparable company analysis. This is pretty much it about the comparable company analysis method and if you have any questions make sure to email me on my email on the website. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on the blog in order to get notified about all new posts. And make sure to follow us on our social network, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and goodbye.